Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd take a moment and share with you something I've been working on for quite a bit. And I finally think I have a reasonable solution for it. So, on my current hand, the position of the fingertips are all relative to the position of the proximals. So, proximals, medials, distals. So, when the, when the proximal gets blocked, then the medial distal can't travel any further. Now, on the 156 hand, that was taken care of because the chain pulled all the way through the finger from the, from the distal, through the medial, through the proximal, and then up the metacarpal base. So, no matter where the position of this was, this finger could continue to close. So the 156 finger is great and all, but its part count is more than double of the 158. But the 158 does have that as a limitation. If the proximal gets blocked, then the rest of the finger can't turn. While I was making the parts, I came up with an idea of what if I was able to come up with a way that once the proximal got blocked, that the link that controls the medial and distal, it was allowed to travel just a little bit further, and that would allow the medial and distal to close a little bit further. So, by having this link endpoint be on a movable slide that's connected to this loop of chain, the same loop of chain that moves the, the proximal, then it would allow the medial and distal to continue to close even after the proximal is blocked. Something that I thought I'd share with you guys. I'm pretty excited about it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching.